So Twitch recently decided to add Simp to their new uh, terms of service that's coming up in January. And basically they're gonna be banning the word or I should say anybody who uses it, they're gonna be targeting such individuals as Twitch will no longer allow streamers and commenters uh, to go around calling one another Simp. And of course this is under or being labeled as part of their sexual harassment. Now, of course, it's not that Twitch is actually for guys, it's not that they're doing you some sort of favor. A lot of the women, of course, on Twitch that typically go around very scantily clothed. And there are, of course, there are certain streamers who basically make their living off of men who basically simp for women. And basically, for those who don't understand the term, it's basically just a woman who is very average and mediocre and then basically putting her on a pedestal. Uh, and so it's a woman who typically normally most men wouldn't even think twice about have so you know, make so much of a deal of. But in today's day and age, because of the way many men are, because many men are typically very effeminate, don't have a lot of experience talking to women. And so they typically think that they need to win them over. And so many men who maybe either don't take care of themselves in terms of how, how, how they look in terms of fitness, they don't eat very well. Many men, unfortunately, um, are not pushed to drive for success, which is seen within you know, colleges, colleges, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly women. And of course, within the workplace, there's always um, you know, diversity hires, et cetera. And that typically pushes most men out of the job market or out of certain job markets. And so men have to basically go different avenues to try to create wealth for themselves. And so, of course, many of these men end up, in essence, simping on Twitch by offering these women money. They basically uh, shower them with money. There's been numerous uh, individuals who have basically uh, given up their even their rent money. Even men who are married who are just donating large amounts of money to these female streamers. And of course, when other men come around and then, of course, explain to them, like, why are you doing this? You're basically simping for this person. There's no reason to do that. That, of course, cost Twitch money as well as, of course, costing the streamer money. So it's not as if they're doing these things for you as a favor. I mean, for most of us, I should say for me growing up, I grew up with a large pool of guy friends growing up. We played a lot of sports growing up. And typically when... I guess men were going in like a wrong direction or they were acting in a way that was weak. Typically your friends would basically nudge you. If you were, you know, gaining a little too much weight, your friends would kind of, you know, make fun of you, etc. It's what gave men what we refer to as thick skin. And of course that is looked down upon today, which is why you see a lot of weakness within societies. And of course, this is advocated for, you know, basically the feminization of men. Like I said, these people are not here basically doing you any favors. And so for the next month, for uh, basically in January, I believe it was you know, January 22nd, where they're basically adding this to this terms of service, where this will actually um, be looked at as sexual harassment. There's a video down here that talks about that um, there were so many complaints of sexual harassment. And then they basically lumped up simp into excuse me into that category and this is basically the, the direction that society has been going where other men try to correct men's behavior because many men nowadays grow up with either no father in the home they grow or they grow up with um primarily women masculinity today is basically looked down on by the most of society Yet many don't realize that this is typically, of course, how a society falls. If, they, if you feminize men, if you make men weak, there is no one there to protect the country. And that's basically what you're seeing right now with what's going on in society, where individuals will basically rise up. They'll bully people in the streets. You've seen many of the protests where individuals will bully, bully people in the streets. They'll take over certain areas. And then there's basically no one left to do anything. They hope and they pray that a police officer will come around. And then, of course, even what's going on in Seattle, Seattle basically gave up an entire area um, of their city to individuals who were just basically acting like bullies. And, of course, the men of that city didn't rise up and say, 
we're not going to allow this to happen. They just hoped and prayed that someone else would do it. But what happens when there is nobody? And of course, I've talked about this the other day, where we're, like, we're seeing such a push into the what I would refer to as the wrong direction, even when it comes to females. You even have individuals who are in positions of power, like for example, AOC, where this young girl who is 23 year, years old, she works as an EMS worker. And of course they did a, a what was it? Um, I think the New York Post did an article and she was the one who volunteered the information. It wasn't that they snuck up on her or basically did some sort of investigation. She basically volunteered all of this information that she decided to do to post, you know, racy, provocative pictures and videos on OnlyFans, right? She's a 23 year old girl. You know, if you have an emergency in your home and you need to call 911, the woman coming to your door actually might be someone who solicits sex and perverted pictures on the internet and people think that this will not have an effect down the road and of course for the most part if you remember back in 2017 18 and 19 it was always talking about not looking at women in a sort of a sexual way and yet now we have women and women in positions of power basically advocating for young women to be looked at uh, as sexual objects this is stuff you just, like, just literally can't make this stuff up. And of course, they blame it on the fact that the real issue is that, you know, this young girl has to work two jobs. And of course, if you actually look at the chat and you can see that this has 155,000 likes. And of course, if you go into the chat, you'll hear all sorts of comments of uh, this is OK. There's absolutely nothing wrong. But if you've actually ever been to another country or if you've ever met someone who does sex work and you actually talk to them, it's almost like they're dead inside because morally they are basically a house that's basically fallen in on itself. And this is what happens to many young women who go down this road. And of course, instead of advocating for the individual perhaps to do something else, they want to empower young women to basically prostitute themselves on the internet. And this is where we're going. And of course, this is as a result of the economic collapse that we are experiencing with the money printing as of course money gets printed eventually what happens with all of the money printing is that of course you have the secondary effects which is inflation where basically everything goes up in price people are complaining about you know the cost of living high rent here and especially here in manhattan that people of course like same thing in california that many people of course can't afford to live and i get that Primarily, one of the biggest problems is one to all the money, money printing and, of course, large government. But this is the direction that the country is basically moving in, where it's advocating for its young women to basically prostitute themselves and elicit men to basically either purchase pictures or to purchase videos. I mean, if you go on here and there's what's that other one, uh, like Bella Delphine, she basically is posting pornography on Twitter. And they're basically okay with it. And this is where we're at in terms of society. It will only get worse moving forward. This is basically how most other civilizations collapse, where they just become morally corrupt in every single way. And then eventually the barbarian is at the gate and it all collapses. And this is basically where America is at. We are literally at a turning point where the country will either accelerate its downhill trajectory or it has an opportunity to to change by rooting out a lot of the corruption that is going on within the government but that's very hard to do and i highly doubt that politicians and the american people more importantly are willing to make the hard decisions but this is basically where we're at where individuals and in positions that you would imagine are respectable people who are going out there saving lives etc and these same individuals are out there soliciting men on the internet for money for racy pictures for sexually provocative videos and people actually want you to look at this as if it's totally okay there's absolutely nothing to see here and this is basically america now in a nutshell